Welcome back. The objective of this video is to go through future value, present value, and cash flow diagrams. Okay? So the first thing we need to look at is future value. Future value is essentially how much would uh, something worth in the future. Okay? And so what we need to do is use the compound interest formula, and this will allow us to find the future value. Okay? So what we do is go F, which is a future value equal P, the present value, times one plus R to the T. This is exactly the same as the um, compound interest formula. Okay? The next thing we'll be looking at is present value. Present value is the reverse statement of future value. It says, what is the present worth of um, some value or in the future. So an example will be if I promise you $200 um, two years from now, what is that $200 worth today? Okay, and we simply rewrite the um, compound formula so that the present worth becomes a subject. So we got P equals F divided by 1 plus R to the T. Okay, um, in addition when we deal with future value, we go, we will be compounding the present worth to get the future value, okay? And when we are dealing with present values, we go, we are discounting the future value to get the present value. So the terminology compounding and discounting are important in this course, okay? The next thing we'll be looking at is cash flow diagram. Now, cash flow diagram is simply a graphical representation of the inflow and the outflow in the project. Okay, and it is important that you do cash flow diagram neatly and correctly because it will allow you to do the calculation um, very quickly and it is less likely that you will make a mistake if you do a proper cash flow diagram. Okay, and the way we do a cash flow diagram is we start with E zero, which is the present, okay, and then for every increment on our x-axis, it will just simply be a time period. So that could be one year, two years, or you know, monthly or daily, okay. And for all our inflow, we put an upside, and for all our outflow, we put a downside, right, negative, okay. So we're going to go through calculating the future value and present value of these two cash flow, okay? So in the first example, we will be finding the present worth of this $110 one year from now, okay? I have told you the um, interest rate is 12%, so what we wanna do is discount it by 12% for one year to get it to the present value, okay? So the equation we'll be using is P equals F divided by one plus R to the T. We know our future value is 110, we know our interest rate is 12, and we know our time is one year. Okay, so we put all the values in, and we get our present value to be 98.214. Okay, so what that means is simply, if I have 98.214 today, that is exactly the same as getting or having $110 a year from now. Okay. The second thing we'll be looking at is the future value of our um, $100 that we are using today. We want to see how much is that worth one year from now, okay? And to do this, we'll be compounding our $100, okay? So we'll be using F equals P times 1 plus R to the T. We know our present value is 100, we know our interest rate is 12%, and we know our time is 1, okay? So times, timesing all of that together, we get the future value as 112, okay? So what that means is if I um, give $100 today, in a year's time, that's the same as giving away $112. Thank you.